Oh, girl. Hello there. I'm the Velvet Snatch, and who am I sitting with here but none other than the sensational Envy Peru, winner of Drag Race Holland. How are you doing, my dear? I'm doing good, my dear. Are you enjoying DragCon? Yes. <laughs> yes. No, I've, I've, I'm having a blast. It has been so nice. And we are, we are uh, here since Wednesday. Mm -hmm. And I cannot believe that this is like the last few hours it's of wild, DragCon. It's it? been crazy. Um, but I've been loving every moment, you know? It's just seeing RuPaul finally, like, up close. <laughs> you know, that was my first time. You know, we didn't have Ra yeah. RuPaul, like, in our season. So when, uh, with him, when he cut a ribbon, I was like, oh, that's oh. how she looks. She's so <laughs> bloody tall. Yeah. <laughs> So yeah. <laughs> That's it. I'm really pleased because I finally, at the after show last night, got to see you perform for the first time like, live, and that was phenomenal. Like, oh, thank you, thank you. Yeah, Kylie Minogue. I, I did. I, I've done slow, the Infinity version. Uh, slow, uh, love to love me, baby. And Kylie Minogue is one of my favorite artist ever i think because of kylie minogue i discovered that i was gay you know when i when i heard can't get you out of my head and stuff <laughs> yep and my my dad said you know that's a gay icon right and so, oh is it <laughs> and so okay well then it was really queer <laughs> really yeah quickly yeah. clear that i was queer <laughs> dad i've got something to tell you <laughs> yeah. it's more like yeah. your dad told you wasn't it? it's like by the way that artist you really love if you got something to tell me yeah yeah and then I thought, oh yeah 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 you have a gay son <laughs> No, so yeah, so I, I, I love uh, doing Kylie songs. Yeah, it was amazing. It was, yeah. Well, I was there for it as well. Like, I think I was a little bit late to the after show party, but we walked in and caught you, and it was ideal. It was cool, huh? That the after show party it was like so it was lovely to see all the queens, all the winners, all the winners yeah. like lining up. Also backstage, just seeing each other just lining up. There's a wow, this is pretty cool. It's amazing. Yeah, I have a super important question for you, oh. which I didn't have until you walked in the room. Oh. Um, you smell amazing. Oh, thank you. What is it you are wearing? <laughs> I wear Deep Teak. You know Deep, Deep Teak, the brand, Deep yeah. Teak? It's, yeah. um, this is the Orpheon. Orpheon. Yeah, Everyone. I got, that was like a tip of Nikki Tutorials. She wears yeah. the Orpheon as well from Deep Teak and I bought it. I was like, ah, oh, it's amazing. It and it's, it's just one bottle a month, baby. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Every month a new one. <laughs> one bottle a day. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So obviously you won Drag Race Holland, but we wanted to ask, was there any challenges that you've seen on other seasons that you didn't get to do that you might have wanted to, or any challenge that you'd like to redo from your season? Um, ooh, that's a good one. Well, we didn't have like a sewing challenge in our season because um, the, 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 the sewing machines broke. Mm. So it, yeah, so for a lot of queens, we're very happy with that. Mm. But um, I would love something. Yeah, I, I would love to show something to create something. Mm. You know. So yeah, for a next season, maybe in the future, I would love to do yeah. a sewing challenge. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I think that's a good excuse for an all winners too, right? Maybe, mm, maybe, if something, maybe. Were, if something were to ever come they, up. Yeah, you know? well, they might have me on their radar. I don't know, baby. Ooh, well, we, we <laughs> hope they do. So obviously, with not just winning but just drag in general, you've done a lot of touring. Is yeah. there anywhere in the world outside of obviously your homeland mm -hmm. that has just struck you? You know, somewhere that you love. Oh, uh, Peru. Mm -hmm. Yeah, of course. You know, so, um, doing. Um, I think this no no yeah it was last year uh, in February I went to Peru for the first time to do a show and uh, the people received me with so much love there and uh, for me it's even more special because this is this is, this is my people this is my culture you know this is my country and uh, the venue was full and packed and people went wild so that's for sure one of the most memorable shows that I've done until now yeah yeah Oh, that's amazing. Um, are there any big plans for 2023? Yes, darling. There are a lot of plans. I'm not going to spill anything, you know, because I really believe in keeping it as a secret um, and then just surprise the people when it comes out. But uh, no, I'm not done yet. There's so much more to come. <laughs> uh, exciting. Is there anything that you can promote then? So something that's maybe not a little bit secretive. Have you got anything that you'd like to promote? Uh... Hmm, that, that sounds like a missed opportunity. No, the things that we have, I cannot talk about. <laughs> surprised you. Oh, yes, you surprised me. Well, you know, we in Amsterdam and in Rotterdam have like a very cool residency. It's called the Amsterdam Drag Show and the Rotterdam Drag Show. So whenever you are in Holland, in Amsterdam or Rotterdam, make sure to see us. It's Vanessa van Cartier, Jane JK, is there, Abby, oh my God, Seder Jean, like all the Dutch uh, drag race girls. So. Yeah, I would recommend that one. <laughs> oh, thank you so yeah. much for speaking to us, Envy. No, thank you. Thank you. Thank you for ma making time for me. I thank loved it. Anytime. I love speaking with you. Oh, <laughs>